Hey everyone, I am going live today with Jen. I'm just gonna wait for her to join in. Um, so over the past few weeks I've been doing a series um, featuring fellow POC makers and also um, mama makers. So today we have Jen from JSO Day Crochet. So just before we start off, uh, I want to just let everyone know who I am, um, people who are joining in from your side. Um, so I'm Noreen, I'm the maker behind Noor's Nets. And um, I started my Etsy shop back in 2017, just after my son had turned one. Um, and I was just selling finished products then. Um, but more recently, I've been getting into designing. Um, and I am focusing on children's, um, like children's patterns, basically. And I'll be releasing my first baby garment soon. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> um, so today I have uh, Jen joining me from JSO Day Crochet. Um, and just go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, um, I'm Jen of JSO Day Crochet. I see. Um, I know when you actually see um, my logo, it says, it looks like it says JSO Debt, which technically that's how you would say it, but I wanted to be fancy and have it rhyme with crochet. So it's JSO Day <laughs> Crochet. Um, I've been crocheting since about 2010, and I started crocheting because I was looking for a hobby when this one was little. <laughs> and um, oh my God. Um, so um, I've just learned through YouTube and just just kind of making as I went along with books. Whoa. Okay. And that's part of being a mama maker right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's just uh, oh, ready my to... Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking things over. Um, Knocking things over, so, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I started making things, and um, as I made things, people said I should, you know, sell them. So I started doing, like, little markets and then of course opened Etsy and just kind of went that way um, but now I've kind of switched over from making items to sell to just designing so right, that's where right. I'm at now. Nice. Um, <laughs> so what are some of the things that you're working on currently? Um, I have uh, lots of things that I'm working on, um, things that I should be writing patterns um, for myself um, to release, but um, I've been procrastinating. So, oh, yeah, um, I can right relate now, with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm you know, so, I'm at, right now, I'm, I'm at my mom's place and I'm just so like lazy right now. I just don't oh, want to do anything. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm still here, yeah. Oh, so, I'm gosh. just like in that mode where I just want to like relax. I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it's hard when you get yeah. to the point where you have to do the step by step photos and like the videos yeah. that's when I become lazy and I just all the projects just sit on my table waiting for that oh part my gosh, to happen yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess I'll do a sneak peek because this is supposed to be coming out in April um, but Ooh. I'm working with um, collaborating with a uh, Etsy yarn shop um, this is her yarn uh, Bondrak Erica Bondrak I think I'm saying that right um, she's on Etsy and she sells yarn um, lots of uh, recycled cotton uh, fabric wow, yarn, nice. um, so the non-traditional yarns. Um, so this is actual tape yarn, and it's it's a flat, I don't know if you can see it, it's a flat yarn, but it's thin, and so, nice. and I know you know what it is. Now this is the first one I made, I know so it's what it got is. two different <laughs> colors, because I didn't have enough of the blue, so I added brown just to make it bigger. But I am working on a sun hat um, I'm so excited about her. this pattern. Oh my god, I, I love it so much. It can I love be fancy it. And have one side down and one side up. So <laughs> it is so nice. I love it. I'm Thank so you. excited for this pattern of yours. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm working yeah. on. And um, you know, again, I'm at the stage where I have to take photos and and videos. So oh man, that's yeah. Right it's now. so time consuming. <laughs> I wish I could just like hand it off to someone, but that's not a possibility right now. <laughs> <laughs> just have to do everything yourself yeah <laughs> yeah so um, that's the the main thing I should be working on <laughs> yeah yeah oh thank you um, <laughs> oh I'm seeing a lot of hearts for that <laughs> heart <laughs> eyes <laughs> oh, nice. Christina hey <laughs> um so what is your favorite thing to make um I think well, I know I'm this sure. one but yeah I'll let you talk uh, about it <laughs> 
baskets. <laughs> I'm kind of like a basket head. I've got, I don't know, I've got a lot of them just kind of thrown around, but just always making baskets for, for everything. Um, and always trying to find yarn. Oh, my hair is messed up from it. Um, so I'm always <laughs> trying to find um, different yarns that work well for making baskets. For baskets, um, right. So, right. Yeah, so I used a lot of fabric <clears throat> yarn, which is great, but um, my hands can't handle it anymore because it's pretty tough oh, to work yeah. with. Um, yeah. But like this one is with the Bernat Maker Big Yarn, which I've always wanted to try. So I Ooh, love this nice. one. Nice. But, um, I have yet to oh. try the maker series for Burnett, like the the home decor. Oh. Yeah, I yarns. love it. I use yeah. it all the time. I love it. Yeah, yeah. And I think I so, like it because it's not fuzzy like regular yarn, so it's something different. So something I didn't mention is that Jen is a local maker, and I've actually met her in person, and we've always had a good time every time we met. And the first time she came over, she bought me a basket, and it was so cute. I wish I had it with me here to show you, but it's at home. <laughs> but it was so cute, and just a thought, and, you know, I really appreciated that. And it has all my, like, needles and hooks in it. And just, oh, yeah. it's, so, it's cute. Every time I look at it, I get inspired. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Like, she is a local maker. I met her, and, yes. and yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, I messaged her <laughs> and said, let me stalk you. You're in Cleveland. How about if I stop <laughs> over? <laughs> I'm so glad you did. Uh, yeah. And then we uh, um, and then we went to a park. I forgot what the name of the park was, but it, wasn't, oh, Lakewood it was in Lakewood, right? Yeah, Lakewood yeah. Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a good time there. Like, our little ones enjoyed, too, and it was nice. Yeah. <laughs> this one, this one who's peeking this in the screen right is trying to get into the screen. <laughs> hey, Chloe, how are you? <laughs> you good? <laughs> um, yeah, and... and uh, Jen is such a inspiring um, mompreneur. She she actually has um, helped her her daughter start off her own little business. If you want to talk a little bit about that, I think it's so cute. Oh, that's she right. has, you want uh, to talk about your she's... business. You, <laughs> <laughs> you can show some of your uh, products if you want. <laughs> she's gonna grab one mm -hmm. and put the earbud back in. Girl. All right, can you show them? Hey. Hey, Chloe. Tell them what your business name is. Um, my business name is Chloe Ella Charm Bracelets. I make bracelets for little girls, and this is one of the bracelets. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. She has really, she's on Instagram, too, if you guys want to give her a follow. And uh, she has some really nice oh. pictures up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> products Instagram are very cute. And Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, um, oh. And then, um, what are some, like, if you want, oh, you want to show us a close up? Oh, this oh, is her new nice. zipper pull charm. She's, ooh, those are nice. Making. I love these. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, Annie says hi. <laughs> hi. Um, <laughs> So, Jen, if you want to tell us about some goals that you have for this year um, with your business. Uh, with my business um, is to um, create more patterns. I think I have a total of eight on Ravelry and Etsy. Yeah. And, um, you know, I want to make more. Um, but again, I'm procrastinating. Um, but all of my patterns, I want to um, feature the bolster stitch, which I came up with. So that kind of sets me aside because... It's kind of a new stitch, so if I can, um, and I'm constantly practicing that stitch with other stitches and see what other patterns and designs I can come up with, so, mm -hmm. but mostly I like to stay in the home decor um, and kind of accessories. Uh, garments are nice. Um, I would want to make one for myself, but I don't think I'd want to design them. And do oh, yeah. the math, like <laughs> all the doing. math, all the sizes. Yes. Oh, my God. Just with the baby so one that I that I recently worked on, it's like I didn't imagine it to be so much work, but it is <laughs> with the yeah. math. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather but do it it's one worth size it in the end all. when it fits when it fits, you know, 
the person you're designing it for if it fits and it it, it looks good you're just like oh my god <laughs> right. i saw the pictures uh, from my testers and i was like oh my goodness i'm so i'm so happy they are so cute yeah <laughs> <that it fits. laughs> but yeah but i totally hear you about the math like with the garments and stuff but um yeah. you want to tell us a little bit about how you came up with the bolster stitch because i think that's a really oh. fun story too <laughs> oh yeah um so the bolster stitch i um was always making here, I can't hear when you do that. Um, I was making baskets and at the time just using um, doubling up on yarn, tripling up, even quadrupling yarns to get like a thicker um, basket. And um, so one day I just decided I'm going to make a basket, but I kind of wanted a different look or design to it. So um, I was going to try a new stitch, the crisscross stitch. I don't know why I picked that one. I've never done it before, and I decided to go watch a movie and make a basket and not pay attention to what I'm doing. So here I'm like, oh, I don't need my book. I'll just figure it out. So I start crocheting my basket, thinking I'm doing the crisscross stitch, not paying attention. And then I get to the end of the round, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, that's, that doesn't look like a crisscross <laughs> And um, and But I like the way it looked, and it just came so naturally. Um, and it's just one step different from, like, just the regular single crochet or half double crochet or double, regular double crochet. So I just kept doing it, and um, I don't think I have my original basket, but um, basically the bolster stitch is just this stitch right here. So it has, like, a, a nice look to it, and it actually makes um, the, uh, the item sturdier um, or the fiber, oh, wow. the yarn sturdier. Um, nice. And so, um, so, yeah, I did uh, – okay. So um, um, – when I, after I made the basket, I decided to kind of research to see if the stitch was out there. So if I wanted to write the pattern down, I knew what to call it and what to write. Okay, stop. Here. Um, so uh, I kept looking, but it's hard to look for something when you don't know the name of it and you're trying to just go through so many pictures on the internet. Um, right. I was looking through a lot of crochet dictionary books for pictures that were similar. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so I couldn't find anything. So I gave it up and started working on holiday prep stuff. And um, so the following year, um, I contacted the Craft Yarn Council and Crochet Guild of America <laughs> um, <laughs> to see and send the pictures and videos of how I did it to see if they knew anything. Um, and they hadn't seen it. Um, so they got me in contact with Susan Lohman, a crochet designer. So I sent her the information and she said she had never seen it before. Um, and uh, she thought that maybe I created um, a new stitch. So she contacted Edie Ekman and sent her the information. Again, came back with, I've never seen it. It's pretty cool. And then they checked with uh, Dora Ornstein. Again, came back, never seen it. So uh, with their, um, they all said, well, if you've researched and you can't find it, um, just go ahead and give it a name, um, blog about it, write patterns about it, and just throw it out there, associate your name with it. Um, unfortunately, can't copyright stitches because anyone yeah. can come up with a stitch. Uh, right. So they just said, just associate it with your name as much as possible. Um, so I named it the Bolster Stitch. And the reason why I came up with that name is because I'm a massage therapist and we have those uh, bolster pillows. They're kind of raw, uh, round and long, uh, which you put under um, the person's knee or um, neck for support of their back. And so the stitch, when you do it, it kind of so, yeah, I came up with that name because it reminded me of the bolster pillow. Um, and I thought, well, maybe that's kind of corny. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I asked them, and they said it it was pretty cool, and it wasn't out there. So I figured, well. Maybe. I think that's so. amazing that you came up with your own stitch. That's just, Thank wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's really cool. And, uh, yeah, so a lot of people are saying, like, the best results happen when you're just, like, not paying attention. <laughs> My friend, Javeria, right. she, yeah, she's like, love it. Sometimes not paying attention gives the best results, and I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly. so true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a happy mistake. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, oh so uh, let's talk about like mom life, like how you balance like this, yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> with Chloe. How do you, how do you, yeah. <laughs> there she is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, I only have one, so that makes it easier. Um, especially mm -hmm. now that she's older, much easier. Um, but, um, I don't know. We just find balance when she's playing Al crochet, um, but we share the attic, 
<laughs> because um, it's big enough <laughs> for her toys and for my stuff, oh my so that God. we can still, yeah, so we right. can still be in the same space and still talk and hang out, but we're kind of doing our own thing. Right. And, um, right. That makes sense. Yeah. So this <laughs> is kind of like my little yarn area, and I have my office and work table there. But then that's Barbie what I have to share with. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard about the Barbie world. I've the seen Barbie it. world. <laughs> yes, exactly. A tornado oh, hit now Barbie we get to world. See it live. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that makes it easier. This is kind of our space to hang out and, um, right. you know, just do our own thing. Yeah. Oh, Annie, thank you for joining in. Take care. Oh, bye. <laughs> she has to go. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. She, she likes your work. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. So, yeah. Um, um, but when she was younger, it was a lot harder. Um, yeah. You know? Yeah. And, of course, there's always the nap time and bedtime, but she was one who didn't like to nap mm. or oh, go to bed okay. <laughs> early or at a decent right. time. So I right. just kind of snuck right. it in whenever I could. Um, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. So yeah. just be patient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's a season I'm in right now where, you know, I have to play it by day by day like yeah. you know depends on depends on his mood <laughs> yeah, like exactly. if he's in a if he's in a bad mood that I know that I can't you know I'll have to like step away from the, the knitting <laughs> exactly <and crochet. laughs> yeah I don't know how like make it easy. Yeah. having a little one and setting deadlines for yourself because I don't think I've well I can, yeah, can't even hit the deadlines now <laughs> but yeah I can imagine when hard. she's little and doing that yeah, so. it's hard, but I'm trying to I'm trying to stay on track. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Um, what else? So another um, thing, if you want to just uh, talk about, you know, some advice you want to give to mama makers and also um, people of color in this community, in the maker community. Yeah. Um, uh, for moms, just, again, be patient. Don't go hard on yourself. You know, it's, um, mm -hmm. you know, when you put stress on yourself trying to make and um, whether you're trying to sell or design and have these deadlines and you're stressing yourself out because just life, um, you know, just take it easy, especially with the little ones because they're only little for so long. So right. That's just right. enjoy that. You can crochet for however, however long while they're growing up. Um, oh, it's yes. Um, See, being a POC, I don't know uh, advice. Um, I'm one who just kind of ignores that kind of crap. Um, you know, I've my family's pretty diverse, um, and uh, so I'm just used to diversity. So, you know, you know, I think maybe like in high school, I started realizing people don't think the same way, mm -hmm. and it's kind of a slap in the face, and just realized um, how people thought. It's like that's just amazing and I yeah. always was kind of like I'd rather just be by myself than to deal with you know people right. segregating themselves you know um and it's amazing to see how um everyone seemed to be friends we're in classes together we're on you know sports teams together you know right. so we, we're like friends but then all of a sudden you get into your own certain little group and then there's like this oh you know say something about someone else of a different color. Oh, and they look at me. Um, no offense, Jen. I'm like, well, no offense taken. I'm not, you know, whatever. And vice versa, whichever group I'm with. And then I was like, you know, I do take offense because yeah. why would you say something Shouldn't like that? Shouldn't be talking about, friends. yeah, exactly. Um, so mm -hmm. I just, uh, you know, I just kind of ignore it. And I, I think as I get older, I don't see it as much or um, maybe I'm just aware of who I'm around. Um, and if I'm in an area or around people that I'm just not going to vibe with and I just kind of leave or I just don't deal with them. So, right, you know, right. I just don't stress. I don't, I don't want to have to deal with that crap, <laughs> you know? Right. Right. So, yeah. Right. I think one thing that's hard in this, like on the, in the online community is that you, you can't necessarily know when someone has that kind of mentality so <laughs> that yeah, kind of makes true. it hard but um yeah. but I, I didn't mean, even realize there was that going on yeah in this I didn't community until I started seeing the post I was like oh yeah, yeah I exactly. just always thought it was like a either. crochet and knit kind of a thing but yeah you know, a little rivalry yeah. but 
So yeah. that was <laughs> yeah, new to exactly. me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was in India when um, all of this started like coming up, I think, like on Instagram, like yeah. where people started posting about it, you know. And right. uh, I was just shocked. I was like, wow, you know, because <laughs> everyone I've encountered so far has been very open and very nice to me. But I guess it's not just about, you know, being nice or not. It's also about like, you know, helping each other, collaborating with, you know, each other and things like that. Right. So, <clears throat> so yeah. I guess, yeah, so I guess that has something to do with it too. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you just have to be yeah, aware, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah just yeah. be aware you know and just you know and sometimes yeah. I speak out if they're being mean or something but otherwise I just yeah. brush it off and yeah, just leave the exactly. situation or just not deal yeah. so yeah you know, that way good. I'm not stressed out you know <laughs> right 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 so, yeah 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 should I just speak mm-hmm. up when it happens and then just kind of like you know help each other out <laughs> which right. I think that's what I'm trying to achieve with the series too is trying to like you know help each other um so that we can get our names out there because it is harder yeah. um as people of color to like get noticed in the in the larger community yeah <laughs> in the knitting and crochet community so yeah yeah, yeah so hopefully it it uh, helps and yeah. um yeah. so i actually wanted yeah. to continue the live series which i will but i think i'm going to be taking a bit of a break um so like starting next week cuz we're getting into april and then um <clears throat> in may uh we have ramadan coming up so i'm thinking of releasing a couple of products um that are ramadan related um for like ramadan eve so i'm trying to focus my attention there so i think i'm going to have to take <laughs> a break from the live series um but you can still apply like if you want to join me um we can i'm starting to schedule lives out into june um like june and july starting in june <laughs> that's when eid is like in the beginning of june so after that um i'll be yeah. starting up the lives again so yeah if there's oh, anything possible, else you want to uh, add the possible local local maker group meetup oh yeah we're going to be meeting uh-huh. up uh hopefully i think second week of april the second weekend of april i think the 13th is what we decided after check yes. back again on my calendar <laughs> <laughs> but i'm going to be meeting up with Jen and with a few other uh makers um SCK handmade Elizabeth from SCK handmade uh Caroline from um Cozy by Caroline i think that's her handle and then uh Sai from uh, so chicky by Sai So I'm really excited about that. So if you want to follow a couple of local makers if you're in the area, um check those people out. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah, so anything else you want to add, Jen? Um No, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. And yeah, oh, yeah, I'm so happy you could join in today and then share your experiences and just let us yeah. know a little bit more about yourself um i'll yeah. be working on a blog post um which i'll hopefully release by next week <laughs> because mm-hmm. i'm focusing on the release pattern release this week but um if you know <clears throat> and i'll try to upload um this video onto youtube so you can watch it uh, if you weren't able to catch the live or the replay uh but thank you so much for those who joined in and uh we'll be picking up <laughs> giveaway winner uh for one of Jen's patterns and you get to choose the pattern so that's exciting <laughs> all right hope you guys have a great rest of your wednesday um yes so yeah take care bye 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 Jen bye Chloe <laughs> bye <laughs>